everyone, this is Mingyao from Oze Engineering and in this video I will continue my previous analysis of the wire pulling simulation. This simulates pulling a wire like this through a diamond die, a way to make the wire slightly thinner depending on how aggressive you want to be. There's a lot of plastic deformation. Uh, there is the additional concern as wire is deformed this way is that uh, you could have temperature issues. Uh, there's a lot of friction going on at the interface and there's significant metal uh, deformation, permanent plastic deformation, which could generate heat. ANSYS, in addition to being an easy to use tool, also gives you full couple physics simulation capabilities. So to include the heating effects of friction as well as plastic deformation, we can use a couple field static structural simulation here, static analysis or transient if you wish. So this will link the static simulation, use the same material, geometry and mesh, and allow us to set up a brand new couple physics simulation. In this region, the purple areas, we're going to include both structural and thermal uh, physics. You can see we can also include electrical as well as uh, acoustics if we want to, but for now we'll leave it as couple physics. We'll set the settings similar to what we did previously. So I'm going to give it a hundred sub steps here and a million as a maximum number of sub steps. We'll make sure to turn on large deflection and on the output side you can see there's a lot of things we can output including uh, heat flux, stress, strain, back stress as well as uh, nonlinear data etc. So maybe heat generation rate could be helpful too. Next we want to select plastic heating. So this part will be heated due to plasticity and this is a plastic work fraction which means how what's the fraction of the plastic work that will get converted into heat. Uh, this is probably very material dependent and maybe even somewhat circumstance dependent but I'm going to just show you an example here. Let's say 20% of the plastic work in this part will get turned into heat. That's all I have to do we're going to, uh, I ran this previously to make sure it works, but we're going to grab all of the, these property uh, boundary conditions and move it into our analysis system here. Um, and the, the other part is we want to ensure that uh, we capture the frictional uh, heat generation as well. So just like plastic work, we can specify frictional heat generation using a couple of commands here. Uh, we're going to modify a real constant on the contact side uh, with two of them, 15 and 18. 15 is a real constant that specifies the fraction of the frictional dissipated energy that gets converted into heat. One means we're going to convert all of it into heat. And then th this one here is a weight factor of the distri distribution of heat between the contact and the target surface, so which side will the heat be applied on and you can choose either contact or target uh, having 0 0.5 means that it's evenly distributed across the two surfaces so that's pretty much what we need to do here um, we do seem to have a question mark let's see when I run it what, what does it say here oh I need thermal constraints of course right now I only have force constraints uh, structural constraints because I'm adding heat now, I need to have some sort of thermal constraint. So let's select the, the wire as well as the outer edge of my die and say these are our thermal dis energy dissipation areas. And I'm going to use a value of 5 watts per meter squared degree Celsius as my convection coefficient. So these are the areas that I'm going to lose energy from. And that's all I have to do, so let's go ahead and solve our simulation. Oh, I probably should, it says here I should be changing my units. Let's go ahead and do that, let's switch to millimeters. It's often a good idea to listen to the warnings ANSYS provides.
And while it's running here, we can look at our temperature plot to see at each position what the temperature is. So we've heated up from 22 degrees to 36 degrees Celsius, and this is the temperature distribution inside of my wire. It's pretty uniform, 36.6 to 36.4, but so it's roughly a constant temperature here. Okay, so the simulation is completed. We can look at, uh, let's look at the temperature plot first. So here's a temperature rise. You can see that it goes from 22 degrees Celsius up to 58 degrees Celsius. Um, we can look at the strain the plastic screen like we looked at earlier there's strain energy uh, which is generating heat and then we can look at thermal flux heat flux so where is heat being generated it's right near the contact which is where both the plastic strain as well as the friction heating is coming into effect. So that shows you the ability of ANSYS to quickly analyze a structural simulation as we pull a wire through the die, but also expand that to a couple field analysis where you, we look at plastic heating as well as frictional heating to include the, uh, to attempt to predict the temperature of the, of the system as these uh, forming operations are carried out. Hopefully this is of interest to you. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions on this topic, please reach out to us at ozinc.com. Thank you and have a great day.